Welcome to the award-winning Saints Happy Hour podcast. Seriously, this podcast has won awards? American standards are dropping every day. The show features Ralph, the best host in the world who can barely pronounce his own name, much less anyone else's. Marcus Colson, Colston, I mean, uh, Marcus Calloway. Dave is that dude who loves taking bathroom breaks. He's mad about almost anything, so make sure to lower your volume when he speaks. Put that freaking clown meme back up that I made. Jesus Christ. Andrew has sources, watches tapes, and knows football. He rarely shows up on time and wants to commit crimes to help the Saints win. Sean Payton would have done illegal things. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because you know it's true. Oh, and there's also Kevin, who is great at doing mock drafts, but struggles to actually watch Saints games or have a functioning relationship. Budrich wants to know how uh, the doctor's doing. That that ended. Anyway, grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy the insanity. All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Saints Happy Hour Podcast. If you're finding us on the YouTubes, click that subscribe button, click that like button. And if you're not a patron, go to saintshappyhour.com, become a patron, support the show. By supporting the show, you get every podcast we do ad free. You get every piece of video, audio, written content we do. You get access to the Discord channel, and you get to support the the award winning Saints podcast. And you make football season more fun. We need your support. Please consider doing it, Kevin. This is. Some people call it the darkest part of the off season. We're deep into July. We're almost to camp. And some people get really frustrated. They, they get really frustrated because we are, it's no Saints news and we're just waiting for training camp to start. But part of me, this is my favorite part of the year for our podcast because we get to do our bracket, which is the dumbest Saint ever bracket. We're doing that. And we get to do stuff like this where uh, instead of doing actual work, I was on YouTube. You and me and do did, work? No, I don't. I don't know what that is. I just, I'm at my desk watching YouTube four to five hours a day. And I discovered this gem. Saints Bears from 1997. Now, normally a football game lasts three and a half hours. And, and people download entire football games onto YouTube, like three and a half, yep. four hours long. But this one... Saints Bears from 1997. It's 20, I I believe it's 23 minutes long. Somebody took the time to edit this game, condense it down. It's not even 23 minutes because the intros are four minutes themselves. Oh, which we'll get to in just a minute. So somebody took the intro, edited the game down to like 16, 17 minutes and was like, I got to put this on YouTube because they're are Saints fans or Bears fans that want to watch this game on YouTube. So we are going to watch Saints Bears from 1997. This is a Sunday night game on TNT, kids. Before Sunday night football was on NBC and ESPN, Sunday night football started as Sunday Nitro on TNT was when the NFL added Sunday Night Football. And this was Saints Bears, 1997. It was Ditka's return to Chicago. Iron Mike was coming back in a battle that America, they just thirsted for, Kevin. It was the Dave Wanstat 0-5 Bears versus the 1-4 Mike Ditka Saints. We're going to watch it for you. We're going to comment on it. It's incredible. If you're listening to the audio-only version, we got the link in the description and the YouTube uh in the YouTube link as well. If you just want to watch the video on YouTube and not work, you can do that or listen to the audio only version where me and Kevin are cracking jokes. Thomas, hit that play button. We're going in the Wayback Machine. Saints Bears, 1997. So, Kevin, I like the, I do the, like the, I do like the voiceover guy. Yeah. I don't know who, who's doing the voiceovers. Deep re- resonates. Yeah. Ditka, ah, Ditka waddling in. Here. He's waddling in. They're doing the. They're they're playing it up. Head down. He's got. They're his already looking sad and depressed. I mean, wouldn't you be depressed if you saw if you had Heath Schuler as your quarterback? I mean, I think Mike Ditka. Like, I think like I think like three weeks in, he knew he made a mistake. 
coming back. He just should have. They, yeah, they, they just show clips of him yelling on the sidelines in his yeah, Bears right. jacket. Yeah, ba the Bears helmet in the grass. Ditka, Ditka yelling, screaming. The, Old footage, ace. classic footage of the boy. Yeah, that's one of Jim McMahon's concussions right there. That's right. Good Lord. The, bear, the Bears looking. Dick in the, the side of the Patriots. It's in the sweater vest. Ditka's, Ditka's back. They're one and four. This this Saints team. And, and listen. Oh, Ditka's hair all askew. Why would you play three seconds of the Red Hot Chili Peppers doing higher ground? That's it. <laughs> And now so we're we gonna get demonetized. So they can they they <laughs> the TNT and now, TNT. and now it's this lame NFL on TNT theme song, where the football gets kicked through the uprights, hits the logo, and it explodes in this awful like Mortal Kombat had better looking special effects. And that movie came out two years prior. That's right. But I I mean, all it is was a, is a logo exploding, and they couldn't even manage that. Saint, the Saints one and four, Bears zero oh and five. The, and by the way, this the Saints was the are, only prime time game that the Saints played all year. Wow, of course it was. The 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 Saints are wearing the hideous white jerseys with the gold numbers. Hey, we got I Uncle got Vern. Vern Lundquist. We got Uncle Vern doing the game. Wow. Let me tell you, I I the I, I didn't know. I I don't know how I do I don't remember this. I, don't I do remember. not remember the Any NFL ever on being on TNT, no, let alone never. Vern Lundquist. I don't remember. I don't. Uncle Vern, that's exciting. I didn't, I didn't know. I remember Pat Hayden being, doing play, but I didn't remember Uncle Vern doing the game. This is exciting because Pat Hayden looks like he runs a third tier cable company that's, that's right. about to get bought out by like uh, uh, Viacom or something Quest. in the early 90s. Quest Vision, your number one cable solution in the state of Mississippi. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, this, I mean, this, <laughs> Patty is like the Saints are front. Like, Ditka, this team was so, look at he's Schuler, man. Look at he, my God. <laughs> 64 of 122 for 780 yards, one touchdown, nine picks. That's, nine, that's incredible. Wait, how many? He was intercepted nine times. Nine, nine, times. nine times. Nine times. He was throwing two picks a game. How did the Saints win a game at all? Oh, we got Mark May. We got, we got, I'll say this for Dave Wanson. He's got the wand stash in full effect. The Bears um, couldn't let go of a guy with a stash. Oh, my God. Rick Mir. Rick Mir. What was worse? The Saints giving Jeez. up a third round? The Saints gave up a third round pick for Heath Schuler, or the Bears gave up a first for Rick Meyer? Wow. Uh, the Bears giving that up. Rick Mir, no touchdowns, four picks. God ooh, bless ooh, uh, Craig Sager. Ooh. Craig Sager not dressing like an absolute freak show. Uh, the NFL, I bet you the NFL put the kibosh on. They're like, you cannot oh, dress yeah. exciting. We don't want no, any I don't know. fun. I mean, Tagliabu, this was still in the Tagliabu era. Yeah, maybe Craig Sager was like, I got the NBA, that, my, the wild suits is my NBA thing. I'm going to dress I'm gonna dress normal. Yeah, I'm gonna dress like like a grown up. <laughs> we'll play hard. We're gonna play fast, and we're hopefully not turn the ball over six times before halftime. Ooh, it's it's weather unusual in weather for an October game. There, 84 right. degrees in Chicago, though. 84 at kickoff. Wow. Yeah. You think that? You think they were playing that game in the new Tulane Stadium? 31. Is... I tell you what, though, 31 mile an hour wind gusts. Ain't no field Ooh. goals happening. So Good this Lord. is fun. so now we got Saints in the in, they're running the, they're running the ball. Who's the who's the running backs on this team? Is that uh, uh, is that my, so is the it, Saints? Oh, they fall first play they fumble. Oh yeah, Mario <laughs> Bates. Mario Bates fumbles on the first Mario Bates West first Bender ca carry first carry of the game. It's a nice. No little no no, run. no no that's not the first. Wait, that can't be the first carry of the game. I yeah. thought that was like ten minutes in, yeah, or yeah, like that's five one of the minutes first. in. No, no. Oh yeah, they, they didn't. So that's Mario Bates with fumble. Get a box score. So of course, D Ditka just looks dejected. Now the Rick Myers back. Of course, I mean, people running wide open in the Saints secondary. 
Uh, Rick Meyer probably never played. <laughs> he probably never looked this good again the rest of his career. Rick Meyer back uh, to throw. Yeah, Mario Bait. Yeah, this was the second series. Oh, this is. It was two oh, punts. Wow, two two punts, and then Mario Bates on the first play of the yeah, second the field series. Field goal. The Saints, Saints held him out. This is back in the 90s, kids. You could murder quarterbacks. You could just murder them. Who's this? Who's this? Who's the Bears kicker? Jeff, oh, they got the Saints. Jeff Jager? The, Jeff the Saints, the Saints, Ditka has benched Mario Bates. Look at Heath, Heath Schuler. He looks. He hideous looks, mechanics. Hideous mechanics. He just threw a pick. He looks like a congressman trying to play quarterback, is what he looks like. That's what he looks like. And by the way, he was, after his Saints career kids, he was a congressman. Look at this game. Wait a minute. So bad. The pass was in. He was John Farguer? John Farquhar? Farquhar. Look at Rick Meyer. Isn't that the, the bad guy in Shrek? Rick Meyer has the pocket awareness of my son trying to open a refrigerator door. Like he can do it, but it's, oh hey, my God. Look at, look at it. That, dude, the Saints tight end was, there wasn't a there wasn't a bear within 20 yards of him. I wonder, Kevin, how the Saints are gonna botch this red zone situation. They got first and 10 at the 25. Schuler's back to pass. Like, Farquhar, like the Saints running the John Farquhar offense. I didn't have that on my bingo card, Kevin. And then last year, signed by Pittsburgh. <laughs> wow, that's Joe. I'm seeing 87. I'm seeing a a, a, a plain looking wow. white guy wearing 87. And I'm like, that's not Joe Horn. Troy, the, Troy, the Saints. You know what can kill a drive faster than uh, anything? A handoff to Troy Davis. So the Saints field goal, field goal up go. and good. Doug Bryan up and good. Saints legend. Three 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 feeling feeling good feeling good about things. I mean, the Saints at this point uh, by their 1997 standards, not terrible. Oh look at that! Oh that's that is that is atrocious special team. That is atrocious special teams. You know the thing is, Kevin. <laughs> this, do you think did they just injure Rick Meyer Keith Mitchell, they, Keith, what, Keith Mitchell sacked him there Keith Mitchell sacked him I think they injured him I think they injured Rick Meyer Saints running, no, running two no, back Rick Meyer's still in so right now there. the Saints now the Saints hey, threw it to Mario Bates wow Mario Bates uh, look Heath Schuler looking surprisingly competent on this drive Kevin two of two uh, he only completed he complete? eight, eight passes in he this completed, game. He completed. Uh oh, Mario Bates. He's making a house call, Kevin. Mario Bates to the house. No flags. I love. How, I love how Vern does that every call on a big play. He'll be like, no flags. There it's are no cut. flags on the field. Mario Bates, fifty-nine yards. House call. Good calls. God, he had all day. I mean, God, you could. Good you, God, boy, that is bad, man. How that is God. Boy, the Bears the are every bear. bit of 0-5 in this one. <laughs> they are every bit as 0-5, man. I mean, I th I don't know. I think any ro any running back on the Saints roster could have made that a house call. So the Saints now, the Saints defense is taken over. Look at this. Who is 94? I need a Saints roster on this. These guys, I recognize Keith Mitchell, but you got Pig Goff. I mean, whoo. Wait a minute. Look. The Bears are now playing. Wait. No, that's the quarterback, wow. Ramont Harris. No, Eric Kramer is now in at quarterback. Man, wow. So, so the, the Bears Eric just got a Kramer. This this Bears team, I mean, I can't get over. Mario Bates looking nifty in the, I don't know, Mario, man. That ball looked a little sh that ball looked <laughs> a little bit loose in, in the in the arm there. Yeah, you aren't kidding. I mean, wow. Ba <laughs> You're not kidding. The Bears look at every every bit of 0 and 5. Um, Ray Zeller. Ray, wow. Tackle by Marty Carter, I think. Yeah, that's right. The Saints in this game, by the way, are gonna run for um 
The Saints ran for, let's see, doo -doo -doo. they ran for 137 on 30 carries. He sure yeah. is nine. He's nine of 23 for 195 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. By he's Schuler standards, that's a gold. That's a gold star game. And we've already seen that's like actually, five. That's, that. That's a conference USA player of the week right there. It is. Doug Bryan again. The Saints are up 13. The Saints are up 13 to three. I mean, this Kevin, might, you might as well be up twenty-eight nothing at this point. <laughs> you would, you would, you would think, I you mean, would think. But just wait, my friends. Just wait. It's, we have so much more to go. Uh, if, why are the Saints running? Why are the Saints trying to pass up thirteen to three? What are they doing? I do Minner, miss. Just, I do miss those big neck cushions behind the. Uh, it's a neck, behind the, the neck, back of the, the head neck. of like defensive players. That's right. This, this, if you combine the Saints and the Bears, their offense would still be bottom 10 in the NFL. Eric Allen still playing for the Saints, getting a P.I. Uh, well, I tell you what, that Chiron there, uh, the, uh, the the score graphic there for New Orleans and Chicago with the, the TNT logo, I'm not a fan of it. And the, the, and the penalty, where they actually have a little graph, a graphic of a flag, no, yeah. man. Like, I tell you what, I'm so impressed by how the score bugs have, have improved, improved and, like, the yeah, differences that's right. over the years. Like, I like and, that. That's and people deep like, part. And here's the thing. People that, that listen to this podcast, a lot of them, like, like 60% of our audience is younger, which is cool. They're, like, under 35. So, like, if you're, like, under 35, like, you don't remember, like, the score bug was, like, this incredible invention. And at first, people were like, oh, you put the score bug up. How can you do that? That's crazy. But, like, back in the 80s, you didn't know the down. You didn't know the distance. To get score updates, you had to wait for Brent Musburger to break in every once a quarter. And he would give you, like, one highlight. And they would go cycle through the scores every 10 minutes. You didn't know what the hell was happening in other games. Like, the score bug in the mid-late 90s was still pretty new. And I can't, like... Like the Bears, this roster for the Bears is, I mean, you're given like Raymond Harris rushing. You're given he ran he ran he ran 28 times for 82 yards. Do you know how bad you have to be, Kevin, to run 28 times against the 1997 Saints and not crack 100 yards? I mean, the Saints defense in 1997 was highly rated, but it was mostly highly rated just because the offense turned the ball over so much. They were working on a short field, so they didn't have, they didn't have teams didn't have to go very far to score. Um, <laughs> the Bears, the Bears in this game are one of 14 on third down. Of course, they just got it. They got their second and their first and goal at the two. And Eric Kramer is about to QB sneak this bad boy in. Eric, Eric Kramer's heating up. Only the Saints could be up 10 against an 0-5 team, and you'd be like, I don't feel good about it at all. I don't, I don't feel good about this. Well, goal. you know what's funny is I'm watching some of these receivers get hit, and I'm thinking to myself, boy, would that be a flag in the current NFL? A, would that be a flag? flag? That'd be a flag. That'd be a flag. flag. That'd be an ejection. Would the referees have to, like, go and debate and kill more time and drive us all insane? Is that a catch? Is this a flag? Da 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 da! Like, good Rick. God! First touchdown in 14 quarters for the Bears there. <laughs> God damn the sa And these are hideous uniforms the Saints are I mean, wearing. This is by this the way. is like yeah, hideous. It's the, what? It's the white with I the like gold. Him. It's the Eric white. I disagree. I disagree. Eric Kramer hoisting the football overhead like he's Thor wielding Mjolnir. Good Lord! He's telling a ball boy, "Keep that. That's going in. That's going in a, a, a little." A uh, pillow in, uh, in a case in my home. It's going in and my great. Watch this, good God! It's going in my greatness room. Of course, the same. This room, the same. Of course, now the Bears have first and ten at the nine or the Saints because they just fumbled and they're running off tackles in three, three yards in a cloud of dust. The Saints, the Bears, 
Of course. Oh, he dropped oh, it. Pass interference. He dropped it. That's pass interference. Yeah, look at that. Even in even back then, that was pass interference. Of course it was. I mean, shoot, in the modern game, they'd have just walked on the field and shot this guy. The Bears. Mickey Washington, they'd, have just, they'd have shot Mickey Washington right there in the end zone. The Bears had 266 yards of offense. They had They got sacked five times. Weirdly, the Bears had the ball for 34 minutes in this game. Which is just incredible. Ramon Harris. So now the Bears, even though they've only committed, converted like three third downs, they're up 17 13. They're in the fourth. In the in, fourth. In the There's fourth. six minutes left in the game, and you got to rely on Heath Schuler. Heath Schuler. Oh, God, he's just throwing. He's he's throwing just, oh, my God. How did he do that? He, 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 just he, threw, that? he threw it up. Randall Hill somehow catches it, and the Saints are up 1970. How, How did Rand that happen? I don't even know. And the Bears committed pass interference. Randall wow. Hill caught, caught it anyway. And, I was and look at that. Eight. Earlier in the week, we had the we had the question: name the receivers who had a <laughs> touchdown pass of 90 yard of 90 plus yards. Randall Hill's Randall. touchdown, 89. 89 yards house call. The most improbable. One more yard, and he would have been would have, part of that trivia question. The most question. improbable bullshit you ever Keith see. Look at, looked look like at, he was fleeing for his life yeah, when he right. made that throw. That's right. He was. His eyes were closed. His, his back was turned to Randall Hill. Look at Chalmette's own Bobby April celebrating like he just won the Super Bowl. Look at it. Look at, wow. 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 Randall He's, Hill. Take Look a boo, Dick. son. Take a boo. Ditka doesn't have a headset. Doesn't even really know what's going on. He's sure. He's is that, sure. Is that, <laughs> was, was that it? Was that he's sure? Was that he's Schuler's finest moment in the NFL? Did we just witness it? <laughs> it might have been. Dear God. I, I mean, this game. Dear God. Um, so, of course. The Bears have five minutes left, so of course the Bears have a more than enough time. Ricky Cole just got leveled. If this was the modern NFL, that it, the, 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 that it had nine thousand fifteen yards. Eric Kramer, seven, seven of fourteen there. Seven of seven of fourteen. Wow, for the defense yards. getting in there. Wow, fifty-two with a hell of a Rich, jump. Richard Harvey, there's a random saint name you don't hear very often. He's excited about that sack. Of course, the Saints are going to blow this. I just, I just don't know how. But well, we missed the penalty it. by Andy Heck. Oh, this, oh wow, we got, we got a con controversy. Did, the, did the <laughs> Bears guy? Did he controversy? We got controversy. <laughs> We got to get this. We got so it was a fumble, but it wasn't a fumble. Oh, Kramer got sacked again. He got he got blowed up by who's Wayne Martin? Wayne? Is that Wayne Martin? Wayne, that was Wayne Martin. No, looking or was it? It was it? Yeah, it was Wayne Martin. Ninety three, baby. Look at look. So I mean the Bears. The Bears are trying to win the game. Of course, the Saints are on full on trying to lose it. So now the Saints have the ball. Um, so they're trying. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> they, they did a bootleg with Heath Schuler. Heath Schuler doesn't know the point of the bootleg is to get out. Look at Ditka. He's like, Bit, what are Pates you? lost two yards. Schuler lost three yards. They Zellers they went, got four, and they punted. So. They threw it out of bounds. They threw it out of bounds. That's a penalty. You can't throw it out of bounds. I think we're going to have a runoff, and that's going to be a wrap. <laughs> the referee, the referee, <laughs> the game, he was, he was, that, that ref wanted to get out of there. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted this the game. game is over. Let's listen Let to Dick. Get the fuck out. Dick, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do anything. How dare you shit on Heath Schuler finest hour? How dare you, Dick? That's a future, that's a future congressman. Ditka pretending like this masterpiece is some sort of football atrocity. I should yell at myself. You should yell at myself. Yeah, I should yell. I should yell at myself. 
Who's more? Who's more angry? You think? Holy shit! Was that Chris Berman there at the end? Who the hell was that in the Hawaiian I shirt? Ditka. The I don't know who was more angry, Ditka or 1997 me watching this game in a Tigerland apartment in Baton Rouge. Uh, this game, how was I, I doing can, in October '97? I, I don't need this. This game. And by the way. If you, we've got a couple more weeks, we got a little time before training camp. If you can find condensed version of random Saints games on the YouTubes or anywhere on the internet, send them to us and we will watch them. One thing though, Kevin, if you're going to send us old Saints games, it's got to be ones where the Saints win. I'm not gonna, I, like, I'm not going to watch this atrocity and have the Saints not win the football game. So I tell you what. I'm trying to We're find not watch the, the Minnesota Miracle. No, I'm trying to find the schedule. Uh, the 97 Saints? No, 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 no. Not for the 97 Saints, because I've got that. Like the 97 Saints, they, they 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 became two and four here. They went on to lose their next three, went to the bye, and then they went uh, four and three the rest of the way after the bye. But and, and I think that was the, the the highlight of the of the Ditka era was the six and ten, wow. right? Wow. Well, yeah, they went six ten, six ten, three and thirteen. Here's my question. I'm trying to How? find the schedule for TNT for NFL on TNT. Hang on. I, yeah, you you talk. I want to know how the 1997 Bears won four games. They were 28th in points. They averaged 16.4. And they were 29th in points allowed. Of course, I, of course, of course, who the only, well, no, I take it back. I take it back. They won, they won two of their last three or three of their last five. And they did have three teams that managed to score less points than the Saints did, which is just incredible. I can't – this Saints team was so bad. So you're okay. looking for the – okay, read it I got it. I got it. This – so 1997 was the final year for the NFL on TNT. They ended up uh, splitting some of the Sunday night games. They staggered them with ESPN. So they would get the first half of the Sunday oh, of yeah. the season for Sunday night games, and then they would turn it over to ESPN. And I'm thinking that's probably why I can't remember TNT doing the games. Like I just wasn't paying attention or something at the time. I, hell, I was probably playing Final Fantasy VII on repeat. But I digress. The Saints at the Bears was the fourth to last football game ever broadcast or pro football game ever broadcast on TNT. So it was New Orleans at Chicago the following week. It was Indianapolis at Pittsburgh, San Diego at Kansas City, and the final game for the NFL on TNT, Ted Turner, the Atlanta Falcons, at the Carolina Panthers. Well, oh they God, weren't yeah. Ted Turner's Falcons because he couldn't yeah, own that them due to uh, that uh, the the rules where the owner can't own so many teams in an area. TNT paid hundreds of millions of dollars for that dog shit of a schedule. Can you? I can't. That is a, that is incredible. You want the other games from the season? Yeah, give them to me. All Why right, not? Washington at Carolina, Dallas at Arizona. Uh, the Jets at New England, <laughs> Miami, Miami at Tampa, Philadelphia wow. at Minnesota. I don't, man, Minnesota might. No, Minnesota was probably good then. That's nine. That's ninety-seven. Right, 99. but I mean, that was a bad no, slate of games. And I tell you what, this thing. was. And that let me tell you something, kids. Before the day of the league rearranging schedules and shit and changing things, you know, on a few days' oh, notice. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stuff no. was locked in. If a Lock team was two and seven, you were getting a two and seven ass team playing in prime <laughs> damn time. That's right. That's how Flex. the Sunday that's how Sunday night ended up being the actual best game of the week. Not this Monday night crap. Uh that, that it used to be. Monday night football used to be the thing.
My, they, flex. They didn't flex. They flex. No, there was what no the, flex. No. no flexing. You you suffered and you liked it. You flex. You got you got the zero and five Bears and the one and four Saints, and you were gonna watch it, and you were gonna hate yourself after. But I mean, Vern won. poor Vern. Vern, man, Vern, Vern what got an uninspiring got, theme song too. It was, what an uninspiring theme song. Just for pro just football, incredibly bad. Worse than like the Sunday night theme with like Faith Hill or. Whatever they do, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Faith Hill and then uh, why is that quality uh, so Idol terrible? League. It does not sound like that on my phone. Yeah, they were where they were redoing. Uh, oh, what's her name? Joan, the Joan Jett song. Yeah, yeah, they, re- yeah. they where they redid that. No, 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 I mean that. I'm talking like just the 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 pre, not that, but like you know how like modern yeah, Sunday like Night Football has like that Star Warsy yeah. type music, like yeah. Oh, Bum, bum. And then Monday Night Football has the remixes of bum, 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 bum. and then yeah. Fox has da da dun da da dun da da dun dun dun. This yeah. we just watched it. I don't even sad. remember it. It's uh, yes. it's, it's, it's uh, you it's, can't remember it. Yes, it's bland it's, and uninspired. Yeah. Uncle Uncle Vern. Uncle Vern knew to get the hell out of there, and he went to CBS and did SEC football for like twenty years. Right, you do, um, you do SEC. When when I think Vern Lundquist, I want to see. I it's it's SEC football, it's the NCAA tournament, and it's golf. That's it's it. The Sixteenth Tower at the Masters. That's it. In yeah. your life, have you seen a shot like that? That's it. That's all I want to hear from Vern. That and who the hell is Happy Gilmore? That's all. Uh, That's all I want to know from Vern. I'll, I'll give him this. We'll get out of this. And Vern is a true f- professional because he did he did that play by play like he gave a damn about that game. And you know, as soon yeah. as he put that he- as soon as he put that headset down, he was like, "Get me to the nearest bar. I am gonna get sauced." That was an atrocity. But like I said, find games you want us to watch. We'll watch them. We'll comment on them. I love this. This, this to me is like I would do. I would do. I would re- do a Saints rewatch party like once a week in the offseason. I love this. So thanks for Thomas setting all this up, getting it to where me and Kevin can watch, and you can see our ugly mugs simultaneously. We broke uh, Thomas. How many copyright laws did we violate doing this? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thank hell? you, Tomas. <laughs> so, right. so guys, go to saintshappyhour.com if you like this podcast. Support the show. Become a patron. The only way we can keep doing this is if people support us. So, for Kevin, for Thomas running the show back in Poland, we hope you enjoyed this Saints atrocity as much as we did. And until next time, the bar is closed. <laughs>